Okay, so there's a lovely before picture, <laughs> before my magic. That is uh, Makeup Geeks Unexpected. I am going to push into my crease there. I have already primed my eyes with um, uh, Urban Decay. The brush I am using are the, uh, what is that, the... 119 crease brushes from uh, Crown Brush, those ones I've been talking about that were <laughs> totally shedding like a beast. Now what I'm putting on my eye here is Makeup Geeks Bitten. This is my absolute all-time favorite eyeshadow. I mean, y'all know I like my wines, and but man, this one's so gorgeous. This is my favorite. There's no shimmer in it whatsoever. It is just absolutely and completely matte. Now that silver, that one right there is a, um, that silver brush is the IT Cosmetics Luxe uh, Lux blending brushes. Oh, they are so gorgeous. I'm telling you right now, if any of you can, if you can afford them, because they are pricey, but they are well worth it. You can get them on QVC for a real good deal too. About 10 bucks cheaper than what you do on IT Cosmetics website. And here I'm just blending that bitten in. I have to put my hands up like that so I can, <laughs> my lighting isn't exactly perfect in my room and so I've got a little bit of light coming off one side where the other one's a little bit darker so I have to do that to make sure I've got. Now you're going to see me really diddling around with this, the underside of my right eye, it's where that scar is and I really have to, um, you know, I really have to work at it to make it look like the other eye. It's a Sanyu Kaushik smudge brush. And I'm just smudging the uh, bitten under my eye out a little bit with the unexpected. And here's the city color palette that I am going to be showing you in a haul. And it is the Shining Sunflower palette. And I'm just putting a little bit of that on my eyelids and in the corners of my eyes. It's a beautiful light, light, light peachy color. No, I take that back. That's the Morning Glory palette. And the IT Cosmetics Lux shadow brush. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I could just sit around and stick these brushes on my face all day for no reason. <laughs> they really are fantastic. Okay, and there's a little bit of Makeup Geeks Burlesque. Um, this color is very similar to Bitten, but it has just the littlest bit of satin sheen to it. Um, it is almost identical to Max Heritage Rouge. Almost identical. And like I said, the Bitten and the the Bitten and the Burlesque are both pretty much the same color. One is matte and one is satin. And here I'm going to push a little bit of NYX Primal Color Hot Black into my eyelashes. This eyeshadow is, I would never use it on my eyes. It, it is just incredibly black. I mean, it's, it's like coal soot. <laughs> it is by far the blackest I've ever used. Okay, and here I am just putting a little bit of... Um, Oh gosh, what is that? Brulee. Max Brulee underneath my eyebrows. Just to blend it in with the um, unexpected that I blended out, you know, that I blew out the bitten with. Putting a little bit of Fix Plus on a Q-tip to clean my rims up. If you do that and dry them off, your liners go on much better and they stick better. There's a little trick for you. Spray a quick spritz of uh, Fix Plus or the Elf Setting Mist, whatever you got, on a Q-tip and wipe your rims off and your, um, and then dry it off with the opposite end and your liners that you put on your water rims and your tight line will stick much better and all day. I'm obviously curling my lashes. Now I'm going in with the Calvin Klein mascara that I got for my free gift. I only use this on the top lash for when I'm putting on fa falsies because I don't really care for this mascara much. It gives spider lashes. And so I, it, it, it's good for the top lash to blend in with falsies. 
and because I wasn't thinking properly, I put it on my bottom lashes too. <laughs> it's a good dramatic lash mascara. I think so anyway. Okay, now I'm about to have some serious trouble with my eyelashes. Um, I have been wearing eyelashes for 25, 30 years. But, you know, sometimes you just have those days. And I'm sure you guys have already noticed that I'm just completely forgetting about my brows. <laughs> And I don't show, uh, I don't show myself doing them either. I, um, it, you know, sometime in between when my camera stopped because it was loaded and then I had to load everything into the computer and then start filming again. So this took quite some time. But yeah, my brows don't get done at all in the film. It's just um, all of a sudden at the end they're done like magic. Don't we all wish, huh? <laughs> Using a little bit of my Tarte Amazonian Clay colored... Uh, colored clay foundation love this foundation and this brush oh my gosh I love all the IT brushes but their foundation brush is just absolutely gorgeous I just love seeing the transformation of when you put a light coat of foundation on and it takes away all the imperfections I just love it and looking back over a video like this while I'm you know doing the voiceover and I'm watching it and talking while I'm seeing it it just it just really is such a huge difference. Now the brush I'm using, I spritzed it with a little bit of Mac, uh, Fix Plus, and it is an RC Cosmetics uh, foundation, you know, blender brush, and I will be doing a review on these brushes. I wanted to use them quite a bit and get a good feel of them. Um, the whole Kabuki set uh, for four brushes cost 20 bucks and then I got four eye brushes as well for $20 and I will be doing a review on these very very inexpensive fantastic brushes and here I'm going in with uh, IT Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores and just setting my under eyes and everywhere where I put concealer now I'm going in with the Vitality Disc, Live, Love, Laugh, and I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the bronzer in it. I don't need a whole lot because I've got a tan peeking through, which I, no matter how much sunscreen I use, I still have that engine blood in me. I look just completely dark in the summertime. I'm going to get a lot of crap, I'm sure, this year. Contour my nose a little bit, and that's one of the um, RC Cosmetics eye brushes I was just telling you about, that gold-tipped one. Okay, and this, this is one of City Color Cosmetics, uh, or what is it called? Yeah, City Color. It's one of their cream blushes, and I purchased quite a big haul of one of, like, everything that I wanted, and I'm going to be doing a... Uh, a haul video with a review of these products that were all two dollars and ninety nine cents a piece so yeah they were all really good priced and um, I've been playing with them for the last couple weeks now right here I'm just putting a little bit of the L'Oreal cherub blush just on the apples of my cheek so they don't you know stand out so bad from back further where the city color blush is and this is a little bit of uh, IT cosmetics HD illuminating powder it's bye bye pour also it's just the illuminator gotta wipe the lips off because I get foundation all over them now if you want your lips to look a little bit plumper a little bit fuller you wanna take your pencil and I'm using one of those Maybellines these are old schools and it's in blonde and I'm outlining my lips very very lightly with it and then I make the line just a little bit thicker and these stick you know of course these liners last all day and it just and the here is just a little bit of uh, that elf concealer stick I've showed you guys before in my videos a little bit on the cupid's bow and it makes it look a little plumper and here I'm lining my lips with the Milani anti feather gorgeous stick okay and there's the first look and there's the second look two lips two lips one look and there's the finished product um, I hope I did this well this is my first voiceover uh, my eyebrows, look at that, magically done. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> okay, thanks all you guys. I love you all so much. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these because I'm getting a whole lot of requests. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.